so as actors, how do we cope with some of those places that we go to that wake us up or jolt us into another, uh, you know, paradigm or another zone? You grow up. Yeah. I, I, I did Romeo and Juliet and never wanted to go home and stab anybody. Yeah. You know, come on. Yeah. It's a job. Yeah. It's acting. Yes, you use all of that talent, but if you're done, you're done. Go home, go have a beer, go have a life. Right. Come back tomorrow. It's not that big a deal. Yeah. It's not like, oh my God, I can never leave that character. You know that, that story of, of uh, Sir Lawrence Olivier and uh, Dustin Hoffman, they were doing a movie together and Lawrence Olivier was reading a paper and having tea. Dustin came in and said, hello, Dustin. He's like, I've been up for five days every, you know, preparing for the character. You should try acting. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them really live it. I don't know. I, I'm not one to judge anyone that doesn't work for me. Yeah. And I don't promote that within the people I train. It's acting. It's yeah. a job. Yeah. It's a great job. Yeah. Get over it. Yeah. Go home, change your clothes, leave the stuff there. And if you do get into those places, stop it. Yeah. Don't act because you'll go crazy. You'll go crazy. Yeah. You play Medea, you're going to want to kill some kids. I mean, what? this is stupid. Right. It's stupid. You don't get lost in the care. It's your job. It's your job. Take a shower, shake it off, take the costumes off. You got to do it seven times a day on Broadway. Yeah. This one actor, brilliant actor, did a movie and they hired him to do a play on Broadway. He said, you, you have to memorize all the lines and say, you know, I kept getting notes from the, you've got to use the right words. Yeah. And the stage manager kept in the, you missed, you missed the, you missed when. I had to go through, he was, he was astonished. Astonished. Yeah. yeah. There's no second take, baby. There's no second take. It's one shot, one ride. Run right out there. Yep. Jump off. Yep. It's one of the best things. When I was at La Jolla and we did, it's so funny because I have a long coat that I wear up and it's um, for rain. And I keep moving the bottom and holding it, I, holding it like my old costume. Thing. I keep bringing the costume up so it won't floor. It's, it's instinctual. You know, those costumes were lovely. And it was wonderful to play in them and have those great opportunities to play in them with wonderful costumes and wonderful makeup and wigs. Yeah, I mean, it, it's very an, an imaginative place. And uh, I know that's one of the big things that Stella believed in and coming from all the, you know, the core people that were teaching acting back, you know, in the day of Stanislavski. Talk a little bit about realistic versus you know, Stella Adler versus method and mem Stella, memory versus when, imagination. When when they all came about the group theater. Yeah. And the group theater started in implementing the work that they went back to Tan Stavsky. Some things were mis misunderstood. Stella didn't like it. Stella couldn't, doesn't want to, she didn't want to raise up all that stuff. She couldn't do it. Yeah. I can't. She left. She went to, to Paris, found Stanislavski near his deathbed went through all of it. And she said, is this what we were so, no, 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 we tried that, it doesn't work. No, 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 that doesn't work. And she said, thank God, yeah. I can act then. You have to have a technique. Right. You gotta, okay, uh, we're going to this, 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 get ready, you know. He puts on certain clothes and shoes for the day. You bring out certain, you know, the technique of the things you're going to use that night. Yeah. But you don't bring all this baggage of your bad childhood or when you were beat at school. Oh my God, there's no room on the stage for that guy. He'd probably be more in your head than actually in the scene. And, uh, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> and then you'd probably be upset. Right. The hell, I don't want to remember what happened in high school. Yeah. I don't want to go to reunions. High school was something I survived. I survived high school. There were some good things, but I survived it. Yeah. It was, a, I mean, I was always, I've always been weird. You know, I've always been sort of an outcast. 
God knows how I found a, a place that that was I could teach over the job for that a job for a weirdo. Yeah, I don't know if anybody's normal out there. I don't think I don't think any of us are normal. I don't think any of us normal. Are, you're not getting no, you're not, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think anyone's normal. Yeah, as actors, you have to be interested in fun. Yeah, acting has to be fun too. It's got to be fun. Yeah, got to be fun. If it's not fun, go drill oil wells, make more money. Yeah, exactly. But you know, it's it's got to be fun. Yeah, you got to be excited to go down these lines. Excited to go down these lines. So, uh, along the lines of fun, and you know, people starting. No, when I mean fun, yeah. it's not just, but it's fun, a great pleasure within yeah. you to do this. Yeah. When this student leaves class and he's knocked it out of the park as Hamlet, he feels self-satisfied. Yeah. He feels validated. Yeah. In a way, nothing else can give him that validation. When I tell him, you got it. Well done. Do it again. And he can do it over and over and over. Because he's going to act in movie over and over. Right. You can go, okay, this is a magic place. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So coming from pleasure, people are excited about acting. They want a base. They want a foundation. Um, they come out and visit the class, which is on Wednesday night uh -huh. at the Santa Monica Playhouse. Yes. Um, and you have a process for, you know, new actors and a foundation. Talk a little bit about, you know, where, where does somebody start when they, when they come okay. and they take class with you? Or Estella they... believed in a, in a philosophy. You must remember where you've been. Yeah. And then you see where you're going. Yeah. I mix all the technique people with the, with the scene study. So everybody's sort of working on their own. But some of the actors are, oh, yeah, that's what I did. I have actors that I put in an exercise with the, she, I forgot this stuff. Yeah. And she was stumbling. Because just, just because you've gone through, through technique, it doesn't mean you remember to use it. Right. So when I put the advanced people in an exercise, this is a reminder. Oh, remember this? Remember you got to do that? So it's not about arriving at a destination. No, no, no. But the process that you go through that allows it's you to- It's a process that you're supposed to not only, I mean, I have, I have students that are completely enlivened by these students that are working yeah. at, a, at, at a different level, at a different level. What the fuck's the level? There's no level, there's different places. Yeah. There's, you know, and I, I think, that if you do not have a process, yeah, you don't have anything. Yeah, and I think processes make sense. Is everything? Yeah, you know, and it uh, it's hard to. I mean, anybody can get lucky once in a while, but if you don't have a process, how can... this is the city of lucky shots. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, there are people. Sometimes who... a little bit of luck can be dangerous because. It puts you into a pattern where you don't work on a process. Like and you know, and, and no one ever tells you the truth. Right. They don't ever tell you the truth. Yeah. Because they've got a house in in the in, in Tuscany, they gotta pay the rent for. Yeah. So that manager is gonna make sure you keep working. Yeah. So I don't think I don't important. think all managers are like that. That's unfair. But there are too many actors making huge amounts of money that got there. I don't know how. Right, right. I don't know how. And then you have actresses like Michelle Pfeiffer all of a sudden, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, whatever she was doing, it worked. Right. So, I mean, yeah. if you want to feel legitimate, I mean, that's something else. But her talent carried her through all that stuff. Her talent. And she needs to uh, bravo herself. Right. For fooling a lot of people, but she's not fooling a lot of people. Her talent was, was backed by that. Yeah, so I think if people come out and visit your class. Yes. And, you know, it's a free audit. Yes. And you can come and see the process. Yes. And, you know, the thing with the process is just like you talked about learning. 
Yes. And you made some big mistakes. Yes. But through the mistakes, you got bigger gifts and bigger yeah. uncoverings. Yeah. So I think I think it's always good to go out to, you know, a class like yours where you're working with actors on different levels. Right. So people can see and what you, they could uncover. And you join your put at the beginning. Yeah. And you can, oh my, I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing that. And then this is for you you can piece it all together. I have some students that are working on scene, and you can see their mind working on I forgot that. Right. You forget, and then you do the scene, you go, I didn't do all that. Where's this and this and this? Yeah. How do I make these props work? How doing in the place? You know? Yeah, I think, I think from being in your class and observing the work that goes on, which is amazing, I think a lot of times you even learn more from watching the other people. You know, it's funny because people get all wrapped up in being good and their identity and their ego. But when you actually just drop that and you come and you audit a class and you witness work that uncovers itself from not the words, mm -hmm. but from the inside out, then I think that's really what sticks with the people that audit your class mm -hmm. is the genuine flow that comes from a process, not from trying to be good mm -hmm. or trying to knock it out of the park, but actually just letting the inner work and the process. Um, I, 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 um, I hate that knock it out of the park. In fact, there's, you know, that boy I talked to you about, if you, I sometimes I think, how can I keep comp complimenting this, this kid? Yeah. How, what's that going to do the rest of the class? He says, fuck it, I can't worry about that. This kid is working hard and he's doing really well. How am I not going to say you're doing really well? Yeah. I got to tell him. Right. Because he's doing really, really well. Now we got to another scene in contemporary real, and he's stumbling. Yeah. It's the same actor, but it's not working. He's stumbling. And I'm sure through the stumbling, he's learning a lot. Of course, he rem it gives him humility to begin with. Yeah, humility is important. I mean, I guess that's why. Well, there, there, there needs to be. Life is not. A, 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 you know, a, a, a great dose of humility. Yeah. And compassion when you work. Yeah. That's what makes an artist wonderful. Well, we, we just want to thank you for taking the time out sure. and contributing to everybody that's out there on Facebook. If you guys, you know, find anything in this that's interesting, that inspires you, come out and audit the class on Wednesday night. Share this with friends or people that you know that are in the industry, whether they're an actor, a director, a writer, somebody that wants to do something with purpose and significance uh, is about understanding the process, not trying to arrive at a destination because just when you get somewhere, you go somewhere else too. So it's uh, it's always about learning and following the process. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So share this and send your comments and thanks everybody for tuning in and have a great night. Happy December.